Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's Gabriel Jones, Fan TV. Back at you another video, man. Like the content, this video, go ahead and smash that like button. The content, this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, hey, listen, the Ravens OC search is still going on. It's wide reaching. We're talking about uh, NFL assistants, college coaches, everybody in between, okay? Now, the latest name that's come out is Georgia offensive coordinator Todd Munkin. And uh, I won't do this for probably every offensive coordinator at the interview, but just one that I find particularly intriguing. And I think Todd Munkin is a guy that if he comes to the Ravens, it could potentially be intriguing. All right, so let's go through his coaching history really briefly, right? 56 years old, been coaching since the 90s. I'm just going to go through some notable places that he's been. Southern Mississippi in 2013, he was their head coach from 2013 to 2015. Um, 2015, he led them to a 9-5 record. And Nick Mullins, I know you guys remember Nick Mullins, but he's in the NFL, played for the uh, 49ers, the Raiders, teams like that. But anyway, Nick Mullins had 4,500 yards, 38 touchdowns, 12 interceptions under Todd Munkin's offense, okay? We're talking about at Southern Miss, they average 40 points a game. At Southern Miss, all right? So then he gets, he does that, goes on to be the Buccaneers OC for about three years. Now, in 2016, 2017, they were about 18th in offense. Uh, they had a slight bump in 2018. They jumped up to 12th in points. But uh, his time with the Bucs was a little bit of a struggle. Apparently, there was some times where there was a uh, friction between him and the coach, Dirk Cutter, and it just didn't already work out. But his offense was still well well received by the players and things like that. Okay, uh, 2019 with the Browns, uh, Browns didn't have a good season. They were 22nd in points. Um, Baker Mayfield, I think, threw 22 touchdowns to 21 interceptions. And then from 2020 until the present time, he's been with the Georgia Bulldogs. Now we know what the Georgia Bulldogs have done the last two years, and that's when back-to-back -back national champions, uh, national championships, excuse me, while more on over their competition, right? Uh, dominating pretty much in every level that you can. So Todd Munkin is pretty much a guy, right? He's an air raid specialist. He's a guy that can have a, a diverse pass and attack. That's what I really like to hear. But also, he's a guy who knows how to marry the run game with it as well. Um, now, when he went to Georgia, Kirby Smart was a guy who wanted to who wanted his team to run the ball effectively, get off play action, things like that. Todd Munkin apparently uh, expanded the office even further beyond that. And led to what we now see. Okay, now the Georgia, um, before Tom Munkin came, was around 30 points a game. All right, now 2021, 2022, when he really got a full year into the system, uh, 2020 was a little bit of a struggle for them because they had like four different starting quarterbacks. But when 2021, 2022, they had Stetson Bennett, who he took to Heisman candidate levels, right? And Stetson Bennett's not a bad player, but he's not a guy that you would say, yeah, that's a Heisman candidate, right? That's because that's in part because of Tom Munkin's offense, all right? Now, 2021, they were ninth in points in the nation, 39 a game. This past season, they averaged 41 points a game and were fifth in the nation. So, he's been able to take a team that's already been a good team, but it make them better and go to another level, right? Now, the reason that the Ravens be interested in a guy like this is because, obviously, like I said, he can expand the pass game, but he's a guy who doesn't forget about the run game as well. Georgia uh, averages over 200 yards a game rushing. They also average about 285 yards through the air. All right. He's widely regarded as one of the best offensive coordinators in college. He's one of the guys that um, I believe he also interviewed for the Buccaneers job again to go back to the Buccaneers. So they're looking to get him back. He's widely regarded as one of the best offensive minds in college and in the pros. So this would be a guy that the Ravens would, I would love to see the Ravens snap up and get. All right. And there's some more reasons why I like just to hear about Todd Munkin. All right. Like I said, air raid specialists who... Still focus, has to focus on the running game. The Ravens want to still run the football, but they want to be able to get better in the passing game. Great. All right. Use of multiple tight ends in his offense. If you guys watch Georgia play at any point this year, they have points where they've had three tight ends on the field. But it hasn't been the way the Ravens have done it, where it's only run and there's nothing explosive about it. They've had three tight ends on the field and still got explosive plays out of it. Now, he's just not just tight end heavy. Their wide receivers do uh, do great work in the pass game. Their running backs catch the ball, all right? But now some more about the tight ends. Brock Bowers is probably going to be a first-round pick, I think, probably next year. Donnell Washington is going to be a first-round pick potentially this year. And these are the guys he kind of had in his offense, all right? Now imagine that with Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely, and even a guy like Charlie Kohler, who we saw at the end of the season, uh, very last game versus the Bengals, that he has some ability to get open, all right? Now you got a guy who can use tight ends, who can use wide receivers, and also what I really like to hear is get the get the running backs involved in the pass game. J.K. Dobbins is too far talented for running back to not even be involved in the pass game. He caught a couple passes versus the Bengals in the playoffs, but 
this should be a more of a staple of the Ravens' offense than something that's done like a one-off. Now, the Ravens tried to get running backs involved in the past game this past season, but it was really just screens. You could do so much more than just have your running backs involved in the screen game. So, but look, everything I read about Todd Munkin is the fact that he's a good offensive mind, he knows what he's doing. He's a guy that um, I think the biggest thing I read about him that I liked is that he's an adapter to what the defense gives him. Now, what is the biggest complaint, or for my biggest complaint that I had about Greg Roman in the past was the fact that it seemed like he was just calling plays, right? Didn't seem like he had any feel for the game, what was happening, what was the defense doing, okay, how can we react and counter to that? Todd Munkett apparently is the exact opposite, all right? He reacts, he counters to what the defense does, um, and he adjusts off of that. Everybody in Georgia's coach staff, the fans, they all love him. They say that he's been a guy that's taking this team that was just a dominant defense and okay on offense to a dominant offense. So now they have both sides of the ball dominant. Now, Georgia wants him back. Obviously, uh, the fans want him back. Um, but if he wants to make a return to the NFL, I think the Baltimore Ravens would be a great spot for him. Uh, I think that this guy can – I mean, listen, what he did with Stetson Bennett, impressive. Now, imagine what he can do with Lamar Jackson. That's a scary thought, okay? So, um, Tom Munkin is a name that I heard before. Uh, I thought he was going to stay in college, but the fact that he's actually entertaining NFL jobs, I think it's a good sign. I think the Ravens have a chance to land him if they don't go with their quote-unquote younger uh, OC. But Tom Munkin is still a guy that is innovative. He's progressive. He's pretty much all the things that Ravens have been looking for in his OC search. So, I will be interested. I will be very, very... Um, Please, if they do make this high, all right? I think he gives the Ravens a perfect blend of run game, pass game, use of the tight ends, use of the wide receivers, and getting the most out of your quarterback and building an offense that's effective for your quarterback, right? He's not just going to run the same thing he ran at Georgia. He's going to take Lamar Jackson's strengths and put it in the offense. That's the kind of guy the Ravens need, and that's the kind of guy Todd Monkey can be. So, um, like I said, if any more uh, exciting or interesting coaching candidates come up as far as the OC job, I'm definitely going to do a video about them guys and uh, let you know guys, let you know about them. Uh, let me know your thoughts about Todd Monk and let me know your thoughts about any other OCs you want the Ravens to uh, interview, man. Uh, but for now, I'm out of here, man. It's your boy Gabriel, just with the Fan TV. I'm out.